Welcome back guys, this is Junka here, let's continue the story. Now obviously I'm not able to connect to the public game so I'm going offline and I've got a character which is already built, it's a level 8. I'm really hoping that I can take him online sometime, uh, I'm not really sure how that will happen. Um, but a lot of problems and bugs in this game at this point of time. Uh, when I try to play online the game just doesn't get created, even if it starts, uh, it's basically a blank screen. So I don't really know what's the problem. I went on the internet and searched for it, uh, but they're asking. I mean, there's a fix. People are saying, but the fix is that you have to uninstall the game completely and reinstall it, and basically you clear everything out, which is a challenge. I'll probably do that at a later stage. Uh, uh, I'm just trying out this new, basically Act One. Uh, I really like the game, and there's a huge, huge gap in this uh, category of games. I mean Diablo 3 is literally dead. Uh, Grim Dawn is something that people play. Path of Exile is amazing. But this is something really new. And it's got the same dark tone of uh, Diablo 2. So which is which is why it's pretty awesome. But the only problem we have with this uh, game is it takes a lot of time to load. It's a typical CryEngine Crytek game. I mean, if you look at Hunt Showdown as well, uh, it takes like centuries to load. Literally takes centuries to load. Okay, what is this Tabor? Mm, the damage is great, but it's basically a two-handed axe, so it's not something that I want to use. Fire 14, 3 to 5. 3 to 4 fire damage added to attacks. Okay, what is this? 5 to 14, 3 to 5 fire damage, 10% critical hit damage. Okay, this is definitely a little better, but I don't have the money to buy this right now. Luckily for us, let me just show you my gear. I've basically put the. Uh, it's not nothing great, but I'm basically dual building. It's a melee character. I'm still trying to build this up. Let's see what happens. Okay, 3 boost chamber, no. Farmlands, no. I think this is where this is where I need to go. Yep, cave level two. Or oh, the audio is simply amazing, man. Which is again true of all uh, TriEngine games. So I'll give it to them. Basically, they make really good games. Uh, unfortunately. They take a lot of development time. I mean, all games take a lot of development time, but the games are so good that you get excited and you just can't seem to wait for them. Anything here? No, nothing here. Let us go and enter the sphere level 2. What is this? You know, I will try to see if I can connect online and there I'll play um, as a mage. What? The wings of fish beer is really great. Uh, bleeding edge is awesome. The other problem that I probably have with this game is, uh, I'll tell you once I beat this guy. The other problem with this game is, uh, you know, there's not a not a lot of character customization that you can do. If I look at it, uh, you know, these are the four or six skills you can add. Okay. Uh, oh wow, this is opened up. Anvil's over. What is this? Increased damage, raise, reduced reach cost, increased area of effect, and higher critical chance. I'm going increased here so I can put two customizations over here right now not reach that level for this one 
Neither I have for this one. Wings of Ishmeer. I should have reached this. What level is this on? Oh, it's level 9. So I need to get to level 10 for that to happen. Yeah, like I said, uh... The other problem is, uh... And my uh, comparison will prob primarily be with Diablo 2. I mean, Diablo 2 had basically so much customization that you could do with regards to a character. Absolutely amazing customization, I mean. Uh, with every character, there were three skill trees, I mean three tabs. And you can basically build your character depending on what tab you want to play on. Uh, in this case, it's basically these skills that get added and then you just keep building those skills more and more until you become a little more powerful. So, if you look at most of the melee characters, all of them will pretty much have these same skills. So, any gameplay that you go and see online... There's nothing wrong about this. Its frequency is accelerating. What are you doing? Yep, yep, like you said, you know, so... What is this hood? Okay, it's not for me. Mm. Great sword, I don't need a great sword. I need a good weapon. Good, good weapon. Mm. Yep, so... There's definitely a lack of customization. Uh, But that's okay, I mean every game has its own flavor. Uh, even in the case of uh, Path of Exile, while there are a lot of skills that you can add, you can keep changing the runes and you know, completely change your character. You can completely change the character from being a melee character to a mage, anywhere in between. So which is great, uh, which is amazing, but... Uh, oh, that's... What? Why won't you attack? Oh, then Okay, so, uh, that was great. I mean, these are good creatures. I just hope they do not just stick to this profile. And this game has changed drastically from the time it launched. What is this? I already have that. Unleash a powerful war cry. Okay. I can probably use this to upgrade my skills. Yeah! 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 More creatures coming out. Uh, please come. I'm guessing the boss here is going to be pretty powerful, man. Let's kill these ranged guys first, man. The swir. Yep, let us uh, kill. Oh, thank God. I hope I get some good gear and then I can probably go to on ice. 
Okay, how did I manage to fit everything in, man? 20 L6 resistance go. 9 L3 force field, not something I want. Force field again, 93 force field again. Nope. First of all, let's just go sell this to him. We shall come back to you, my friend. What's his name? Mojave. Okay, what is this? 46 force field, not, not, not something that I want right now. Hmm. Gladius, 6 to 11. Right to 14, 10 percent critical damage, point out. Okay, this is not upgraded till now. It's gonna change in another 5 minutes, 40 seconds. So it's basically random, but ha happens randomly. Okay. You know, this is something I can definitely use. What is this current ring of mine? Okay, rain damage score. Okay, okay, so it is between uh, this, no, this one 5 to 7 fire damage or 5 to 6 frost damage added to attacks. Or I could uh, force field. Okay, between these two rings, I need to select one. Stealing 5 to 7, 8% critical hit damage, 12% lightning resistance, go 5 to 6 frost damage. Okay. I think I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Mm. Only because it's giving me lightning resistance. But then critical damage is also important. So I am going to go and first keep this over here. Additionally, let me just open my character. And if I put this over here. What? Why is the damage gone down? Weapon damage goes up, but the average damage goes down. Why? Oh, sorry, it goes up. I'm so sorry. It's 130. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm thinking today. Mm -mm. Cool down 9 seconds. Regeneration 400. What the should I upgrade? The, uh, okay, let's upgrade wings of Ishmir because I can then take it to level 2. Where is it? Wings of Ishmir. Yep. So I can either take this. Tons and impact. What is this? Increase flight speed. Yep, I'm gonna add these two to my skills. Let's go. There needs to be a lot of changes that you can do to your character. I mean, it cannot be just restricted to upgrading, upgrading these four skills or five skills, whatever. Okay, definitely the increased damage is helping a lot because I'm one hit, one hitting a lot of these creatures. <laughs> die! Why won't you die? Woo! Okay, so there are a lot of monsters over here. Let us see what we will have to fight.
Let's see what does this dodge do. Dodge. Nice! That was insane amounts of damage and why can't I get good weapons for melee man? Why is it giving me... What is this called? Oh, you will not uh, hit me. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, what is this? What is this? Can they give me some good weapon for me, man? Some good melee weapon. I absolutely love the dual wield uh, that they're allowing us to do. Oh, wow, this guy is doing some insane damage, man. Oh, you do not attack me without any reason. Okay, no room in inventory. Wow, that's that's new. And I've upgraded as well. Wow. Okay, that's again something new. Two to four frost damage added to spells. Okay, not something I need. Uh, the bar. Okay, this is nothing. Nothing. Fire six resistance score, fourteen percent, eight percent movement speed. Five health two resistance score. Okay, not something that I can use right now. Okay, what is this great sword? Okay, torch. Plus five to all attributes, which is awesome, but I don't need it. And this staff would have been awesome if I was playing as a mage. First of all, let's just store these so that I don't end up selling them. Okay, so that's taken care of. Jagged Star, uh, Tabar again, uh, not something which is useful for me. Let's look at this. Okay, again, not something that I want to use right now. Steel belt. Five to six fire damage added to spells again. Not something I want to use. Let us uh, see if we've got uh, something over here we can upgrade. Uh, I can either do this. And that's the only thing I could do. And any new spells? Steels and catalyst, daggers, bows. Oh, what is this? Bleeding edge, okay. Uh, trackers, reach is also something I have. Nothing much. Now uh, this has got upgraded. Uh, I can probably use it. Increased bleed chance, increased area of effect. I'll go with increased area of effect. First of all, we increase our skills as well.
Okay, and what about this? You got two points. Now can I uh Okay, now I need to rotate this. This third ring is not available right now, but the second ring is definitely something we can use. This is all spell based, uh, but these green things are basically something that the rogue uses. So I can probably get these also worked up for me. Uh, let me just rotate this a little bit. Yep, so I can basically create two chains. One goes over here, one creates the agility over here. Maximum health, 5% movement speed. Okay, again, this is spell casting speed force. Ferocity. Hmm. 10% attack damage, block chance, block chance. 10%, 15% health, health regenerated. Uh, plus 5% health globe regeneration. Let me just. Now. Let's look at this. 5% attack damage, 5% movement speed. Is this the same circle or no, that's a different one? Hmm. Okay, which? The route should I go? Mm -hmm. It's all projectile damage, pierce, pierce, pierce. Now the problem is if I stick to this side then there's not much. Let me just confirm. Mm, resistance score, health, 5% movement speed, ferocity, resistance score. This is all about health regeneration and defense. Praetorian. Praetorian, this is, this is the Praetorian and this is the Warmonger. I think I've got to go with <clears throat> you know I was planning to come down here as well. Let me make a choice, let me make a choice. This is all projectile damage. So I cannot use this if I build a chain over here. I can probably use something from here and try to build over there. Mm -mm. Now what is it over here? 15% max maximum health regeneration. Okay, so I can probably build on this and come down here this road. So I think I will go with uh, this what is this ferocity and where do we go 10% material damage plus 15% melee weapon damage 10% material damage
Okay. I've already taken this. I think I'm going to go with this right now. And let's confirm. Let us go. I took some time to choose, uh, but uh, all in good faith. I think my character is becoming a little more powerful now. The amount of damage. If I show you average damage that I'm doing, it was close to 115, uh, 157. Now it's close to 204. Where are my enemies? What? Sphere. Look at the egg. Oh, there's just one. Oh, yeah. Come to me. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that was amazing, man. Now, this is a powerful character right now. For some duration, I just hope I don't run into. It. Oh, there are more over there. I just hope there's not a very crazy monster that basically makes life difficult for me. Yet you have to give it to CryEngine, I mean the sound quality in every game of theirs is simply amazing. And which is a keystone of... Uh... He dead? Yep. Which is the keystone of uh, Hunt Showdown? Wings of Ishmir again. Uh, which is the keystone, like I said, of Hunt Showdown? I mean, you have to listen more than you have to see. Because uh, that game is built on that. I mean, you have to listen where your enemy is coming from. Uh, be aware, be alert. Otherwise, you'll just get shot in the head because there'll be somebody creeping onto you. What? Okay. You know, I just hope you can keep getting more and more skills. Keep getting more and more skills because uh, just playing the entire game on these skills is going to be a little... On these four skills, basically you keep doing the same thing again and again with... Uh, obviously they become more powerful. What do you know? I've filled up this again. Okay, let me first sell off that wings of Ishmir. Where is it? Where is it? Daggers and bows. Mark of impurity. I already have this. And now, before we go anywhere else, we're going to store this. This. And even this. Let's look at everything else. Everything else is gonna be a little difficult. Should I keep this? Eternal 2 resistance go plus 1 material resistance. Do I get regeneration from somewhere else? That is something I need to see. Health regeneration. 
Okay, I get 1.7 health regeneration from here. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. I'm gonna sell this off right now. I think that. Let us rest. Let us get rid of this. Okay, anything new? Wow, this great mace is awesome, but I cannot use it. And what else can we upgrade this? This is cheaper. Let's upgrade this. And we can upgrade this as well or... Okay, like I said, you know, just keep upgrading the same skills. Every barbarian that you see, every melee character for Walson that you see will have the same skills. Mm, launchment, despite the surrounding soul, chill the area is clear. On the enemies, yeah. The bane of the storm. Launch event, yes. So that's where the giant one is hiding. His challengers got fried alive. Okay, I hope I'm able to survive this fight because I don't want to fight it again. Oh my god. Where are you? Where are you, my friend? Okay. That one is scary. Okay, this is crazy, man. Oh, whoa, 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 what just happened? Okay, this is crazy man, he's doing insane amounts of damage. I wish Val had heard that one. Oh, that was a good fight. <sighs> what do I do? Report to Tandar Bail Farad. Uh, let's get back over there. Look at the... Uh, I'm gonna take some time and take some screenshots over here. This looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, how do you take screenshots again? Oh, F12. F12 in Steam. Let us uh, first before we go. Okay, five to fourteen damage. Mm, two to five lightning damage. Add two attacks. One percent life leech. Oh wow! Let me just nineteen health, seven force field. Nobody needed the force field, man. Force field again. 
force field again. Now, first of all, okay, let's see what happens. Two hundred and four, two is two zero. Okay, no, I don't want it changing this. Two hundred and seventeen. And what if I do this? Two twenty. Okay, so this is definitely a better one. And listen, tank time is thirteen percent elemental status. I'm gonna stick with this because it's got a slot as well. I can probably put a stone in there. Two zero four, just to be sure. Two twenty. Two seventeen. I think I'm gonna go with this. Now let us uh, go back and uh, try to sell everything. Just a minute again. What if I replace two twenty four? What? Okay, I think I'm gonna use this. Dang! This is amazing. Also, can this be removed? What does this do? Uh, critical chance score. You know what, I'll do this later. Let me just first uh, offensive. Per hit taken, per hit taken, per hit taken. Hmm. I think I need this jewel. I need this jewel. Remove gem cost forty. Three percent occult damage. This is also not bad. Yep. Two twenty four, that's it. Okay, anything else over here? No, 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 no. Let us store this and uh, Tomfall using their town portal. Is this Tomfall? Yes, this is Tomfall. Okay, there he is. Let us go talk to him. I'm gonna Look stop this. Who's here? <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed, soldier. When Sandor told me you single-handedly saved the farmlands, <laughs> I couldn't quite believe it. But here you stand, victorious! Glad I could help. I'll be on my way now. What? Nonsense. Everyone is talking about the hero who stopped the sphere, including the merchant yeah. prince himself. He actually wants to reward you in person. I'm not sure it's a good idea. I would rather keep away from honors. Declining our ruler's invitation is not an option. Go to the palace. The guards will let you in. Okay, what palace? Which side am I supposed to go? No, oh. sir. For the fifth time, you are not on the list. So okay. much for keeping a low profile. Check the beast. Val will kill me. Yeah, I'm gonna stop this video. It's become a pretty long one. This is Jun Kak here. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And hopefully I can keep... Churning out more such videos for you. Goodbye, have a nice day.